So if we think of our project as a cake that has two layers of cake with jam in the middle and icing on the top, then we can adjust the levels. The melody is the icing on the top. That's the best bit of the cake. So we're going to turn that up to full volume. That's this lowest piano track here. The bass and the drums are the two pieces of cake which are sandwiched together and we're going to leave them just where they are, not full volume but above halfway. And the chord track along the top here is our jam in the middle of the cake. So we don't want too much jam and we're going to turn that volume down below halfway. And now if you have a listen, so tap return so that your arrow is back at the start, you can have a listen and see if you can hear all the different layers of the cake. So that's your track nicely balanced. The last thing to do if you want to personalise it a bit more is to choose different sounds for some of the instrument tracks. So with this melody track selected, if I tap on the small keyboard at the top and then tap on the grand piano in the middle, I can choose different sounds. There's lots of different keyboard sounds there. You can also scroll down to other and then that gives you a choice of different melody instruments. You can try out what you think sounds good. There's some bass guitars in the middle there and the upright bass so you don't really want that kind of sound for your melody because you want that to be a higher sounding instrument. So some of these um, instruments at the bottom of the menu or the ones up near the top would be a good choice or you can use um, some of the synth leads would also work. So you can have a listen and see which ones you think suit the track that you want to create. The synth bass is not so good for your melody, so I wouldn't recommend using the synth bass. I would stick to classics, leads, or this menu here at the bottom, other. I'm going to select flute and tap done. Then I'm going to go to the tracks view and I'm going to select the bass track there. So once that one has turned grey, I can tap on the small bass at the top and tap here to open up your bass sounds. And because I've chosen flute, which is an orchestral instrument, I'm going to choose the upright, the double bass sound here, because I think that'll go nicely with my flute. You can obviously try the different bass sounds and see what you like. And then go back to your tracks view at the top there again, the bricks, and select your top piano track. So once that one's grey, you can tap the small keyboard at the top. And I'm going to tap on the grand piano and I'm going to choose strings staccato to go with my double bass and tap done. Again, you can experiment with different sounds. String staccato sounds good if you're choosing orchestral instruments for the chord track. French horn also sounds quite good, um, but try them out and see what you like the sound of. So if I tap done and go back to my tracks view, and I'll just have a quick listen to that with the new sounds. Now the bass is now coming up into the red on the volume, so I need to turn that down sounds you have chosen adjust the balance again so that it sounds just how you want it to and you've completed your project well done